Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to solve some of the questions from chapter number 2 Acid, Base and Salt. This chapter is from CBSE Standard 10 Syllabus. In my previous video we have seen sub exercises and I have given that link in the description. So this is our main exercise from the page number 34. So all these are MCQs. We will see it one by one. The first is solution turns red litmus blue. Its pH is. First of all we have to see that red litmus is turning blue. When red litmus is turning blue then it is basic. The solution has to be basic. If it is turning blue litmus red then it will be acidic. So, basic. Now, they have given us a pH. So, we have to see that from 7. 7 is neutral. It is not basic. So, after 7 till 14, this pH range is belong to basic solutions. As you are going towards 14, the basic solution will become stronger and stronger. So, here we will see 1. It is acidic. 4. Acidic. 5. Acid 10. This is basic. So the answer is 10. The second question is a solution crushed eggshells to give. Now a solution of crushed eggshell. That means th this is a solution of crushed eggshells. So it will contain calcium carbonate to give a gas that turns lime water milky. When a lime water will turn milky, when a carbon dioxide gas will generate it and this carbon dioxide gas will turn this lime water milky. So when calcium carbonate will react with which substance of this, then it will give us carbon dioxide gas. So it has to be acidic substance, it has to be acid. Then only calcium carbonate will react with it and carbon dioxide will be evolved from that which will turn lime water milky because carbon dioxide gas is the only one gas which will turn lime water milky. So when a calcium carbonate compound will react with NaCl, no it is a salt, HCl, yes acid. This is a correct example LiCl, no and KCl, no. So all this substance are not acidic only HCl is hydrochloric acid which will give us carbon dioxide yes so the correct answer is HCl now 10 ml of solution of NaOH is found to be completely neutralized by 8 ml of given solution of HCl now it is depending upon the concentration of basic solution and concentration of acidic solution. It will not be always the case that 10 ml of NaOH will neutralize by 10 ml of HCl because from this you will get 1 OH and from this you will get 1H. OH. It is depending upon the strength of the acid and base. So here it is said that 10 ml of NaOH. So 10 ml of NaOH is neutralized by 8 ml of HCl. So we are guessing that HCl is stronger than base. Now if we take 20 ml of the same solution of NaOH, the amount of HCl solution required. Now here we have to do the calculation that if we are taking 10 ml of NaOH, then we require 8 ml of HCl to neutralize that. So if we are taking 20 ml of same solution, if we are taking 20 ml of NaOH, then how much ml of HCl we will require? So, now we will calculate this that 20 into 8 divided by 10. So, the answer we will get is 16 ml. So, when 10 ml of NaOH is neutralized by 8 ml of HCl, then when 20 ml of NaOH, the same strength of NaOH if we will take, what will be the ml of HCl we will require? So 16 ml. So like this we have to calculate and write that 16 ml is required quantity. 
Now fourth, medicine used for treating indigestion. This is a direct question. So we know that antibiotic no, analgesic no, antacid yes. This is a correct answer. Antiseptic no. So medicine to use for indigestion is antacid. Our fifth question is write word equation and balanced equation for this. So first is dilute sulfuric acid react with zinc granules. First of all sulfuric acid. What is our sulfuric acid? It is H2SO4. So dilute sulfuric acid will react with zinc granules. So we have to only write zinc. And when this two will react, we know that zinc is plus two, Zn plus two, which will react with SO4. SO4's combining capacity is minus 2. So when this two will react, we will get Z and SO4. So this will be the compound after this. Now what is left is H2. So H2 gas will be liberated. This will be in the gas form. So our substance is zinc sulfate. Now we will see that whether this is balanced or not. So here SO4 is 1, here also SO4 is 1, zinc is 1, zinc is 1 and hydrogen are 2. So our equation is balanced. Now dilute hydrochloric acid react with magnesium ribbon. So hydrochloric acid is HCl. Now when it will react with magnesium ribbon, so this is Mg. Now which product we will get? Mg will react with Cl. So Mg and Mg is plus 2. Where Cl is Cl minus. So by crisscross it will become Mg Cl 2. And hydrogen will be here left alone. Now we will see that whether this equation is balanced or not. When hydrogen will be there, it cannot be alone. It has to be H2. Now, here Cl2 is there and H2 is there. So, here we have to make it 2. So, now our equation is balanced. Now, next is dilute sulfuric acid react with aluminium powder. So, sulfuric acid again H2SO4 react with aluminium powder so it is Al now when aluminium will react with SO4 aluminium's combining capacity is Al plus 3 so here Al will be there and SO4's combining capacity is SO4 minus 2 so here 2 will come and SO4 will become thrice because aluminium's combining capacity is Three. So our compound is Al2SO4 thrice. It is aluminium sulfate. Now what is left alone is hydrogen gas. It will evolve. This is also gas. It will evolve. Now we will see that our equation is balanced or not. So aluminium is 2. So here we have to add 2 number to make aluminium equal. Now SO4 is 3 and hydrogen is 2. So SO4 is 3. So here we have to add 3. Hydrogen is 2 but here we have added 3. So we have to add here 3. So now our equation is balance. Last is dilute hydrochloric acid react with iron filling. So hydrochloric acid is HCl. When it will react with Fe, iron filling, then we will get FeCl. Now iron is Fe plus 2. Here the state of iron is Fe plus 2. So it will become FeCl2. And we will get here hydrogen gas. And it is it will evolve. Now hydrogen and chlorine both are 2. So here we have to add 2 to make it balanced. Now our equation is balanced and we will get iron chloride from this. So our equation is balanced. So this is how 
you have to judge that what all reactants are there from that you have to see that what all positive ions are there which will react with negative ion and then accordingly you have to form a products with crisscross method so how to write molecular equation from word equation if you have any doubt in that then i have given a videos link in the description you can check that and you can practice some more equation to write a molecular equation and then how to balance the equation i have given two three videos link in the description you can check that and you can practice accordingly Thank <music> you.